Let me read you a letter. This letter was published by the press in York, the York Press. It's, I'll link to it below. Its title is Racist March Not Welcome in York or Linton. There's a picture of me directly under the headline that reads Racist March Not Welcome in York. So even before you begin, I'm a racist. No debate. That's, the, that, I, that's it. That's what I am. It is a letter from York Stand Up to Racism, and it reads, York Stand Up to Racism is disturbed to see that the far right Anne-Marie Waters is planning a protest in the centre of York on the 2nd of July on behalf of a group called For Britain. Okay, very first paragraph, all wrong. No factual, not even beginning to be factually correct. But this is the mainstream media. So facts are not relevant in today's communist-like society. I didn't organise this protest that's happening tomorrow in York. I was invited to speak at it. Nothing, the organisation had nothing to do with me. For Britain is not a group. It is a registered, fully registered political party, not a group. Second paragraph. Having named For Britain, it goes on to say that name in itself should send chills down the collective spine. What? Being For Britain should send chills down our spine? As these are the words Thomas Mayer screamed as he shot Joe Cox MP in 2016. Um, no, they're not. No, they're not. They're not even supposed to be the words he shouted. What he's supposed to have shouted is Britain first, not for Britain. And again, just, just completely wrong, factually completely wrong. But it's printed anyway. It goes on. Spreading hatred and fear of anyone perceived as the other is a tactic dating back many years and in Germany in the 1930s, we saw where that led to. So now I'm, my picture appears under a headline saying racist. Now I'm compared to the Nazis. Spreading hatred and fear. I'm not the one spreading hatred and fear. The illegal immigrants who are coming here, assaulting and raping, particularly raping, brutally raping, women and young girls, they are the ones spreading hatred and fear. I'm only pointing out what they're doing and saying we should not allow this to happen. That's what I'm doing. The hatred and fear. And people are right to hate the thought of rapists coming here en masse. They're right to oppose that. And even to hate it. And hate is an emotion. It is theirs to feel. But it isn't me spreading it. People are afraid of this for good reason. I am simply utilizing what is left of my rights to speak in opposition to this mass atrocity that is the rape of women and girls that will result from the boats coming in every day and this plan to house 1,500 migrant men in a village of 700 people. That village is gone forever and it will be subjected to crime, disorder and especially rape. There's every reason to hate and fear that scenario. It isn't me doing it. It's the rapists you're defending. We agree that Linton on Ouse detention camp is not a suitable place to put traumatized asylum seekers, but we are proud that York is an officially recognized city of sanctuary and that the city of York council has declared York to be an anti-racist city. Give me a break. You couldn't, I mean, could you 
be? Could they be? City of York Council declared them an anti-racist. Oh, just stop. Stop it. This is virtue signaling rubbish. And as for the traumatised asylum seekers, they don't look traumatised to me. They're coming off these boats and doing peace signs and thumbs up and, and we're all well dressed. All the latest devices, smiling, grinning, laughing. They don't look traumatised to me. But you know who is traumatised? The women they rape. That's who really is traumatised. But there's no sympathy, no compassion from these stand up to racism types for those rape victims. None. Do you know what this is? This isn't about compassion for the other. It's about hatred of the self. They support these people because those people are a danger to this country. No, not all of them, but many. And we don't know who's who. So by letting them in, we are knowingly putting people in this country in danger, especially women. And it's supported by these people, these types of groups, not out of compassion for the asylum seeker, but out of hatred for themselves and their own country. And by the way, I saw a fantastic clip from a march, a refugees welcome march of opposition to the stupid Rwanda plan, which was never going to get off the ground, literally. Protesting in the streets of London and somebody with a clipboard went up to many of them saying, can, you, can, you, can I put you on a list for you to take in an asylum seeker into your home? No. No. Next person, no. I haven't got room. No, sorry. No, 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 no. So the person asking the question said to one of them, so this is someone else's job to do that. You're not going to take them in. Someone else should take them in. And yes, yes, was his response. Oh, without any shame or embarrassment. Just, yeah, someone else can do it. I'm not doing it. Unbelievable. The letter goes on. We don't want Waters and her far right followers spreading their racist lies in York or Linton. Like what? What racist lies? What have I said that isn't true? But it doesn't matter. The press will still print matter of factly that I am spreading racist lies without giving any example. Just, just, just say it. They just call me whatever the hell they like. Never any evidence offered. Never, ever a chance for me to respond. Does anyone think if I wrote a letter into this newspaper saying we were protesting actually against violent crime that this is bringing to our society? These people who are coming here are Muslim, so we're getting more and more Sharia, more and more Halal, more and more FGM, more and more gang grooming gangs, more and more and more and more cruelty and barbarism. And I would be able to specify exactly what I'm talking about and offer evidence. Does anyone think they would print that letter? Not a chance. They print this letter about me without ever contacting me to ask me or to offer me a right of reply. It goes on to say, and I quote, we urge people to make clear that racists are not welcome here. What do you think that is saying? They are urging people to intimidate, to threaten, and to take away my right to speak. They are encouraging people to attack me. In the mainstream press. The press has for years put a target on my back, never offering me a chance to explain, to offer evidence of what I state, the truth that I state ever. They put a target on my back and literally encourage people to aim for that target. I will be in York tomorrow. I hope many of you will be in York tomorrow. 
But this is what we're up against. This is what people who speak out face. And it's the reason they do it, to frighten, intimidate, and silence anyone who goes against their destruction of Britain and their cruel, deeply immoral, blind eye to the violent, vicious, gang rape of young women and girls. They think they have the moral high ground. Well, let me just say this. If you knowingly facilitate brutal, violent crimes, you have no moral ground to stand on. You are despicable. And I don't know how you look in the mirror. But what's most, most frightening of all is the press's willingness to print without question allegations of racism, Nazism against a person they don't even bother to speak to. And then encourage people to attack me. That's where we are. See you in York tomorrow.